Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dutton here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys, I guess, it's not really a story, but I guess it is in a sense. But it's basically just what happened this week and, like, why I haven't been uploading. And if you guys didn't know, I made a video a while ago, and it was called, My Friend is, like, Coming to from Florida or something. Or, Meeting an Online Friend, that's the title of the video. Anyways, he ended up actually coming, and uh, I didn't think he was actually going to make it, because uh, he didn't text me, and I didn't actually hear from him for a while. It was supposed to be like a 28 hour drive. He drove with two friends and I just wasn't getting any responses. But he finally ended up getting here. He gave me the computer. So I have a brand new computer, which is fucking awesome. I didn't like that was just insane that he actually did that. He said he was giving it to me because he's going into the Air Force and he's not going to need it anyways. So that was awesome. So basically the first night he was here, we went to Boston Pizza and Boston Pizza, I guess, is Canadian. We had we had pizza. We just talked a bit. It was really strange kind of strange it's just like when i first met him it was like i can't believe you're actually here like i can't believe we're talking face to face we didn't really have any plans for when he came here like we didn't really know what we were going to be doing so what we ended up doing was going to the grocery store and getting a bunch of just i don't know canadian food like chip like just certain chips that you guys don't have and certain chocolate bars you don't have and shit like that then the next day we hung out with some friends uh we went to london london ontario not london england we just went there we uh Went to the Lindor chocolate shop and got like 50, we got 150 fucking chocolates for like 50 bucks, which is ridiculous. We had plans to go meet up with this person in uh, Michigan and we ended up going and on our way there and we were like at the border, Luna sends me a text message and he just says, yo, meet up for a couple days. And like, I was like, all right, sounds cool. Like, yo, Noah, do you want to go see my friend Luna? And he's like, I don't know who he is, but sure. And I was like telling him who he was and like about his channel and stuff and just, it was I was like, dude, if we go there, you're going to have a fucking amazing time. And I was not wrong. So we get to Troy, Michigan, and we hang out with this girl for a little bit, hang out with her friend. And uh, it's just at this big ass mall and fucking, I don't know. It was fucking huge, like three stories and two parts in the mall. It was nuts. I couldn't even imagine. I think it was like six o'clock we and we stopped hanging out with her. Like she said she had to go. So we, we ended up leaving and then we started driving to Luna's. It took like five hours to get there. So we were driving like 200 miles per hour. It was fucking, or not miles per hour, 200 like kilometers an hour, which is ridiculous. It's like 120 something uh, miles per hour, if you guys don't know that. So I don't know how we didn't get pulled over for one. And uh, I don't know. It was just like, we were going really fucking fast. Like we wanted to get there like a decent time. We ended up getting there around 11. I got out of the car and uh, I saw Luna came out of his house and came up to me and he thought I was going to hug him, so he just fucking shook my hand, which is really weird at first, I don't know. But it was just kind of cool, like, seeing him in real life. I, it was like a, it was a strange feeling. I, you guys probably don't understand it. So the first night we were there, we went grocery shopping, and I got some stuff from America, and I got to try Denny's, which is really cool. And then the next day, we went, and we went, uh, and played mini golf, glow in the dark. Luna found this claw machine type thing, it's like, called Keymaster, and he was just, spent a fucking ton of money on it trying to win it he didn't fucking win in the end i was like dude it's rigged it's rigged but i don't know he just wanted to keep playing it and then his friend joe ended up coming to the mall and we were actually on animal rides at the time like those little fucking mobile animals that you see at like big giant malls we, ri we were riding those and just dicking around basically just like slamming into each other and shit i think the next day we tried chipotle which was really fucking good um then we went bowling the next day or whatever and we saw two girls banging in fucking the bowling alley, which is ridiculous. Like, they were just fucking dry humping in the back. They were so drunk. If you guys want to hear the whole story to that, I'll leave a link in the description below. He actually went and made a video about that. All my friends and family were telling me not to go meet up with these people. They were telling me they were serial killers. They were telling me they were going to fucking rape me. All this stupid bullshit. But I was like, no, that just doesn't make sense. Like, that's just pointless. They've known me for so long. Like, you're just being idiots. I'm really happy. I just went and did my own thing. Because if I didn't went and did that, I probably would have regretted it for the rest of my life. Like, meeting up with my friends. It was really emotional when I had to, like, end it and, then like, be like, alright, time to go home. Time to get back to reality. But I probably, I think I'm going to see Luna again, like, next week or whatever. Which will be really cool. Maybe, uh, we'll do something with him while I'm there. I'll see if he wants to do, like, a Q&A or something. I don't know. Anyways, guys, it's been your boy Dutton. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later with another video. Peace. Attitude, cut the comparisons. I'm in my own league. In my mind, I'm already holding the trophy. Your homies don't know me. Well, that's okay, kid.